Welcome to The Terrible Take, a daily segment telling Steeler Nation what's on our minds. I'm Melanie Friedlander. Christmas came early for Steelers fans and players alike yesterday, as the team beat the Bengals in their final home game of the season. The 34-11 victory was a dominant win, the first one in a long time. Next week, the Steelers head to Seattle to face the Seahawks in their 12th man home field advantage. Both teams are desperately clinging to playoff hopes. Head coach Mike Tomlin has a decision to make before then. Does he leave third-string quarterback Mason Rudolph as the starter for another week, or will he give the job back to Kenny Pickett? Tomlin has often said he doesn't make permanent changes on the roster with regard to who's coming back from injury. Earlier this season, Dan Moore Jr. kept his role as starting left tackle after missing time due to injury, despite rookie first-round pick Broderick Jones filling in fairly well in his absence. The Steelers haven't been eliminated from the playoffs yet, but their chances are a slim 8% at the moment. Pickett is still recovering from tightrope surgery from a severe high ankle sprain. And even if he is cleared by team doctors, he won't be close to 100%. Why risk another injury or a complication in his recovery with a guy who almost certainly will be the starter when the 2024 season opens? Some will argue that the team needs to see what they have in Kenny in the post-Matt Canada games. If he is less mobile than in his early post-op stage, he won't be able to show much anyway, making those snaps less meaningful from an evaluation standpoint. Mason Rudolph had a great game yesterday. He looked poised in the pocket, completing 17 of 27 passes for 290 yards and two TDs, both explosive plays to a now much happier wide receiver George Pickens. But unless Rudolph has benefited from all those team meetings over the past two years since he last started, we can't be sure we'll get the same play next week. We've seen good Mason, and we've seen not-so-good Mason, and he was somewhere in the middle of that range in his last start, a 2021 game against the Lions that should never have ended in a tie. Mason won't be the starter next season, but with Mitch Trubisky sure to be cut once the season is over, Rudolph could be a reliable backup in Pittsburgh. And unless another team comes calling with a big payday, he would probably prefer to stay where he is. Tomlin declined to say if Rudolph would start again next week during his post-game comments yesterday, but he needs to decide soon. To me, it's a no-brainer. Kenny should sit this one out, and I wouldn't even let him dress as the backup, because giving him a helmet and starting Mason would be the worst message Tomlin could send. With the fans chanting Rudolph's name during the game, it's easy to see who they would prefer next Sunday. And if they get their wish, I hope they'll be happy with the results. That's my take. You can follow me on Twitter, at Girl Surgeon. Check out The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Follow us on SteelersDepot.com. And check out the terrible podcast with Dave Bryan and Alex Kazora every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.